I heard the, the yeah. interview that you did with Ray Darcy back in, I think it was the middle of 2021, about your own Parkinson's diagnosis and the journey yeah. of like you working on men's health and then kind of been faced as a man with. <laughs> no, I became my own case study for you. Well, yeah, it was a biggie. Like, your diagnosis came a good few years ago. 12 years ago now, this January, yeah. So, like, all this advice about proactive and engaging, like, uh, uh, like that must have been a jolt. Well, it obviously was a jolt. Yeah, that was one of the, it was a challenge being diagnosed with Parkinson's, but my own reaction to it for the first year was also a big challenge because all the things I was asking other men to do, I found very difficult to do myself. But with the benefit of time now, I'm, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be too hard on myself in relation to that. I mean, it was, it was a major jolt. I was diagnosed at 46. Yeah, that's very young. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, and you know, it's, it's a massive transition to make. So looking back now in hindsight, my reaction was quite under, I mean, it's, it's almost like a, a grieving response. You know, you've got denial, you've got anger, you've got fear of, you know, what's the future going to hold? So it's very difficult to be rational and to, and to do all the things you're supposed to do when you're in that situation. And the way that taught me a really important lesson, and we touched on it earlier, this notion about help seeking and, yeah. and you know, I think it's a really important message for men to get the the idea that they should ask for help if they're in distress. But it's it's so important that we make that as easy as possible for them to do by having people who are able to provide assistance who are readily available and accessible. Because it, it's so easy to tell men, oh, you know, if you're feeling down or whatever, ask for help. But it's not until you're in that situation where you're really distressed that, that the challenge of doing that can can sometimes be almost too much. Do you know Absolutely. What I, mean? I think that's a very strong message in itself going, you know, I've I've faced the fear and I realize, you know, this took me a year to get my head yeah, around, was, two years I to get my head. I was blessed with supports around me with yeah. know, family and colleagues and friends. And I still struggled hugely. And, and it's not that there's still ongoing struggles as well, it should be said. Yeah. So it, that was a real eye opener for me that despite having all these supports around me, I still struggle to ask, to, to, to avail of them. You know yeah, I mean? oh, that's amazing, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, uh, over time that changed, thankfully, and I mean, I, I, f I feel really well supported. I mean, it was always well supported from the time I was diagnosed, but, but I can feel that support and lean on it that much more.